Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this cool to the look animation in Cinema 4D. First of all, we're going to create a new sphere and we're going to turn down the radio to about 20. Now we're going to go to MoGraph, Cloner Object and we are going to drop this sphere into this cloner. But instead of linear mode, we're going to select object mode. So we need an object to put in here. Let's create another sphere. Okay, okay. If we select this sphere, we press right click, we are gonna go to simulation tags and we are gonna add the rigid body tag. If we go to force, we are gonna put 10 to keep position and 10 to keep rotation. If we hit play now, here we go. Can you see this gray area? It's this big sphere, so we don't wanna see it Turn off the visibility into the editor and into the render as well. All right. Now we need some effectors. Select our clone object, go to MoGraph Effectors and select the random effector. We are going to use these parameters for the position and we are also going to use the scale, the uniform scale and 0 0.7 works fine in this case. All right. Now we need another factor. We're going to select our cloner object, go to MoGraph Effectors and select the formula factor. If we hit run, if we hit play now, here we go. We have the animation. We just need the material to get this 2D look. You can get a 2D look by several ways using sketching two materials, using the luminance, but we're going to use a different way. Double click to the material, go to color, we're going to select uh, bright blue, okay. We're also going to use the reflection. We're going to add the inherited reflection and we're going to turn down the, bright, the global brightness reflection to about 23. All right, okay. If we add this material to our cloner, we have this. We need the last step, okay, and the last step is add uh, a new light. Here we go. The trick to get this to the look is press the ambient illumination. Here we go. All right. That's that's how you can get this this kind of sorry guys, this kind of crazy to the look that you know you can use for for your animations for for motion graphics, for for a lot of uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of funny stuff, and it's up to you guys. So hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, yeah, hope to see you soon.